Hey everyone, I am here to do my Pan That Palette Fall 2016 finale video. So three months ago, I had decided I was going to do seasonal Pan That Palettes so I could get use out of a few more palettes this year. And I decided to go with a viewer's choice for my first one. You guys did, chose a wonderful palette for fall. You chose the Sleek Sunset Palette, and this is the palette today. So as you can see, I definitely had some favorite shades in here, and I did hit pan on half of the shades. So I hit pan on six shadows, and there's 12 shadows total. So I am done with this palette for right now. Um, I'm probably going to depot a few colors and then throw away the rest. So this color is really beautiful. I talked about this in my update, my second update video. I also really like these four colors. Those are just shades I really enjoy. This purple and gold were okay, but I have other purples and golds that I prefer. And then some of these shades, like, I just don't care for those colors. So this palette will be being torn apart, and then I'll just keep the colors I like, and the rest will go in the trash. Basically, because the packaging broke, like, there's no latch on here anymore. So this is done. Now because this was basically an all shimmer palette, I did, decide to, I did decide to pair it with my Visard Neutral Matte Palette. And as you can see, it looks, the only cut, the shade that you can really see a lot of use in is this light peach shade, which is a really beautiful color. And I loved using this as my transition shade like every day. And I'm sorry, I'm not wearing any makeup right now. This is the only time I have and, you know, busy holidays, all that good stuff. So this palette will be going away for a while unless you guys do choose to pick another all shimmer palette for the fall for, or for the winter for me to use. So then I might pull this or I might pull a different matte palette to go with whatever palette you guys choose. But that one's not going to be one you can vote for, if that makes sense. So I want you guys to vote in the comments and I'll go through my palettes again. The rest of them so that way you can see what they are again and get an idea of what you would like to see me use for the next three months for fall for winter so December January February and I did also want to note I had used up one of these wet n wild singles in brulee I was pairing with those two palettes this was a new one that I kind of recently started and I've already hit a lot of pan I just go through these really fast. I use them as a brow bone. I use them to set my primer under my eyes a little bit. It's just a great shade. It's a dollar, so I'm totally fine with going through it fairly quickly. So that's the result of my Pan That Palette, and I think I did pretty good on that. And now let's just go through the palettes that you get to choose from for next time. Please vote in the comments. Um, I was gonna try to figure out how to do the voting poll on YouTube. But I don't think I have time to figure that out because I want to get this posted so there's like at least a week where you guys can vote. So, Naked One. And sorry, I didn't really hold that up very long. Okay, so Naked One. Naked Two. From Urban Decay. <laughs> Naked Three. Naked Smoky, Naked Basics, the first one, Naked Basics 2, Clinique All About Eyes 8 Pan in Neutral Territory 2. The Lorac Unzipped Palette. Visart Paris Nude. The Urban Decay Gwen Stefani Palette. Too Faced Chocolate Bar Palette. Sorry. And my other sleek palette, which is Enchanted Forest. Enchanted Forest. 
Enchanted Forest. And I think this palette may have had the second most. I don't remember. It was a while ago. I should have looked it up. But I think this palette also had quite a lot of votes last time. So those are my palettes that you can choose from. And if you would choose like a more shimmery palette. I might pair like, like instead of pairing the Visart Neutral Matte Palette, I might pair one of the Naked Basics palettes to go with it, something like that. Or you could just vote for the Naked Basics palette if you want me to see, if you want to see me just work on something like that. So if you guys can vote down below, I would appreciate it so much. And I think that's the really fun part about this project is it really gets me to see what you guys are interested in. In seeing me pan basically because at this point I'm kind of open with what I'm panning I don't have any really old palettes that I'm trying to push out or anything like that so all right it was great talking to you if you're in the States I hope you have a wonderful Thanksgiving it's tomorrow so hopefully I'll get this up soon all right and enjoy the rest of your night everyone bye